Hello everyone and welcome to today's webinar. Today we have Equisys Zetadocs and they will be presenting on how to become a paperless and achieve a fast ROI. And just wanted to let you know that um, we do record all of our webinars. So this is going to be available on our website later this week. So if you want to review it again or share it with anyone, you're more than welcome to. And we encourage you to ask any questions that you have. So um, there is a questions box down in the bottom. So um, type in your questions and we will get them called out and answered for you toward the end of our webinar. And so now I'll turn it over to Sandra and Mitch and they will begin our presentation. That's great, thanks so much Angie. We'd like to thank everybody who is on the webinar today, we appreciate your interest in learning about electronic document management. I am Sandra Cummins, and I'm the account manager here at Equisys. And joining me is our Equisys sales director, Mitch Brown. Hello, everyone. Today, we are going to discuss some of the challenges we hear from customers that are using paper-based or inefficient electronic filing systems. And we'll talk about the benefits they realize when switching to an electronic document management system. You will learn how to move beyond paper and inefficient filing systems while quickly recovering your investment. We'll start off with an agenda, and then from there, we'll move into um, an introduction of Equisys and the history of Datadoc. We'll talk about the costs and frustrations of paper-based and other storage methods. And then we will then show you how a document management solution can be used to increase efficiency and customer response times while also reducing your costs. And lastly, we'll follow with an overview of how document management solutions work within NAV and then close with a summary. So to give you a little background of our company, Ephesus was founded 30 years ago. Our history of leadership in the document management delivery and approval space started with our fax solution, ZetaFax. In 2007, we entered into an agreement with Microsoft to develop document management software that integrates directly with NAV. Microsoft chose to work with Equisys as there was a growing need of companies looking for software that could help them eliminate paper processes and provide solutions to help with the challenge of sending out a large volume of invoices. And from there, we developed our other solutions. Datadocs was one of the first NAV add-ons to achieve certified for Microsoft Dynamics accreditation. And as part of our partnership with Microsoft, we strive for and earn certification every year including being a member of the President's Club. Similar to most organizations that use NAV, we also had reliance on paper before we designed our document management software. With NAV users like you in mind, and hopefully all this demonstrates our credentials within this field. So to kick things off, I'd like to ask everyone to take a moment to think about the volume of documents especially paper documents, that your team processes every day. Is the paper within your organization on top of your finance team? Or is your finance team on top of paper? <laughs> when organizations initially start researching a document management solution, it's often because they're facing challenges like the picture on the screen. Documents such as customer POs, vendor invoices, or packing slips all need to be stored. The process of filing and retrieving these paper documents can be slow and laborious and lead to hours spent individually filing important documents with the hope that someone can retrieve those documents at a later date. Think about the amount of space that you are using to store paper documents, including the folder space you are using to store documents electronically. With paper, oftentimes companies are faced with the decision to either rent additional storage space 
or utilize valuable office space. In the past, we've had companies that have spent over $30,000 a year in off-site storage fees. How much storage space are you using in your office? To expand on that picture with the stack of paper, here's some other information that you may not be aware of. The average office worker uses 10,000 sheets of paper per year, and it is estimated that 68% of these are wasted. Reasons for wasted paper include printing documents unnecessarily, printing several copies of the same document to be filed in multiple areas, and misplacing printed documents. The average employee wastes one and a half hours per week looking for documents and information that has been misplaced or lost at work. And this equates to hundreds of millions of dollars a week. Think about how much time your staff wastes every week looking for supporting information in a file cabinet or in a network folder. Is it more than one and a half hours? And what about the other people in your company? How are they using paper and how much is this costing you? Then when employees can't find what they're looking for, one in five end up recreating those documents again. This all demonstrates that it is not simply the cost of purchasing paper and toner, but the time and money that is wasted through the use of inefficient filing systems that can affect your team's productivity. To help illustrate the challenges of an inefficient storage system, I'm gonna go run through a typical workflow. And this is one that I'm sure that you're all familiar with, uh, the purchase to pay process. Even though I'm showing a workflow on the purchasing side, this applies to the sales side and other processes as well. For example, sales invoicing, proof of delivery tracking, or collections management. Every organization has its own unique requirements. So as we walk through the purchase process over the next few slides, some of the steps may not apply to your workflow, but you'll get the idea. So as I'm going through, think about how you are storing these files in your company. A purchase order cycle usually starts with a quote request that eventually will lead to a payment. Throughout the process, Several documents are often exchanged. Purchase orders, order confirmations, purchase receipts and invoices, just to name a few. When we are talking with customers, these are the most common documents being passed back and forth around the office. Throughout the workflow, email communication and attached documents need to be stored in a way that they can be retrieved at a later date to show that the purchase goods or service have been received so then payment can be approved. Now, if you switch over to the sales side, notice how many of these documents will also need to be captured on the sales side to assist your reps as they communicate with your customers. Now think about other documents that finance uses. To take a deeper look at an example of a paper-based purchase order process, we can start from the beginning, where a request for a good or service is received by the purchasing team, who then contacts the vendor or vendors in order to receive a proposal. Once the vendor proposals are received, a copy of the proposal is typically filed in one or possibly more filing cabinets or network folders. Once approved, a purchase order will be sent to the vendor which once again will need to be filed along with the quote. The vendor may send an order confirmation notice, which means another trip to the filing cabinet or network folder. Eventually your order will ship and be received within the warehouse. The packing slip and vendor invoices will need to be stored with the other relevant information that has been received. And now that all of the documents have been received, one or more members of your staff will make multiple trips to multiple locations to store the supporting documents. 
As you can see from all the arrows going in different directions, there are many steps in the process. And your company may not go through all of these steps, but it's easy to see how a paper-based system can be costly because of the storage space and equipment to maintain. It can be time-consuming. Filing and retrieving paper documents can be slow as it requires usually multiple trips to filing cabinets or network folders. There can be delays in accessing this information, which can lead to customer or vendor service issues, uh, delays such as poor response times and not having access to the right information can also lead to delays in the approval process. And finally, this type of system is unsecure. Documents can get lost or misfiled. So how does an electronic document management system change this process? Electronic document management can streamline your workflows by making sure everyone can easily store files against the relevant transaction within NAD so that they are instantly accessible on screen. This can strengthen vendor relationships by giving users immediate access to the information they need to answer any vendor or customer questions without having to contact the finance team or search through mountains of paper files. This can be especially useful during an audit and also helps your team focus on interacting with customers to ensure customer retention. A good document management solution will reduce the cost of each transaction because less physical space is required to store files and no paper and toner is used throughout the process. When your business can automate aspects of the operations that tend to be time consuming like invoicing and billing and payments, then you're able to focus on other activities. And while these time consuming tasks are very important to the business, they can take you away from what makes you money. Automation is one of the most beneficial aspects of the online world and provides you with a way to secure important documents and um, keep them secured so that they're not susceptible to theft or disaster, such as fire or flood. So now let's look at the same purchase process that we just reviewed where a document management system has been deployed. The request for purchase is received by the finance team. That information is then sent to a vendor who will provide a quote that will be entered into NAD as a purchase order. The relevant quote can be easily stored against the PO. And when the purchase order is sent out, the email will automatically be archived against the purchase order in NAD. Later, the order confirmation, packing slips, and invoice can now be stored electronically against the relevant transaction within NAD. Throughout this process, if there is ever a question regarding a transaction, all the supporting information is directly accessible from within NAD on screen. As you can see, all the supporting documents to the transaction are stored in one place, requiring only one member of your staff to store these documents. So we've got some typical scenarios listed up here on the screen. Um, I'll just gonna give a few examples, starting with electronic invoicing. Generating, sending, and filing invoicing becomes a faster and more efficient process using a document management solution. One of our customers uh, was sending 100 invoices a day. Then they started using Zetadocs and the time it took them to deliver invoices was cut in half. They have told us that using Zetadoc delivery saves their team one day per week by delivering all of their sales order confirmations, purchase orders, and invoices electronically. In looking at proof of delivery tracking, almost inevitably some customers and suppliers will ask about a payment or whether goods have been delivered or invoiced correctly. 
they want to be answered quickly and their concern is the most important to them. With the document management system, invoices and proof of delivery documents received from suppliers can be entered into NAV, then captured and filed automatically in SharePoint. A barcode sticker can be applied to each supplier invoice so that a stack of invoices can be quickly scanned and automatically split, filed, and linked to the appropriate transaction within NAV. And this barcoding functionality can apply to any type of incoming document, uh, such as purchase, order, purchase orders originally issued or even packing slips. We have another customer that was making 120 deliveries on an average day. So what was once a time-consuming task to manually file and retrieve delivery notes and any kind of a delivery information is now streamlined using Datadocs Capture. Once their delivery notes have been signed by the customers, they scan them into the Datadocs purchase order queue, which automatically attaches the signed document to the relevant transaction with NAV and this saves their teams precious hours by being able to quickly archive and then access the documents from within NAV. Before we move into the demo, we wanted to give you some tips and things to consider when investigating a document management solution. And these tips are based on conversations with our customers over the years. Starting with file structure, how is your system storing files? Is it just storing out to a drive with a tag that goes back to the transaction? Or is it grouping all supporting documents for a customer into one folder that you can easily access? When looking at document man management solutions, you want to look for something that is accessible, something where people can easily find a document. So in searching, do you have to go search in another area? With some document management solutions, you have to go out of NAV to find an archived document. So you want to make sure that the software that you are considering integrates with NAV. And how easy is it to store and retrieve documents? And this is probably the most important of all of these questions. If it's not easy for your users, they will not adopt the solution. And you don't want to invest in the software that is not going to be fully utilized. What about accessibility? Can your finance and sales team access the system from their home office or from on the road? If you have a, a sales rep that's at a customer site, can they pull up supporting files to answer customer questions? And then lastly, looking at security. Whether you have 20 employees or 1,000, Permissions are truly necessary in this regard, as they allow you to choose who has the ability to view, delete, or change archived files and documents, and you can choose who does not. The best document management solution allows administrators to set specific permissions for every employee. And this helps to keep control and protect important documents from being altered. So at this point, I'm going to pass this over to Mitch, who is going to um, move forward with the demo. Thank you, Sandra. So as Sandra mentioned, for today's demonstration, I'm going to touch on some of the benefits that Zetadoc's capture and delivery um, provide and tie that into the points that Sandra just made. And probably the most important point is you want a solution that's not only integrated with NAV, but also one that's easy for users to use. Because if they don't adopt the solution, then you're going to be right back where you started. And with Zetadoc, we've designed it with a variety of ways of getting information into the system. And to highlight that, I'm actually going to go into our open sales orders. 
And on the screen, you can see we've got a list of sales orders. And over on the right-hand side, there's a document window. And this is what Zetadocs adds to NAV when it's deployed. Now, for users, let's say if I'm in the customer service team and I've received an order by email, and let me just open up our email. So I've got a purchase order that's arrived from one of our customers, and I want to attach that to the sales order within NAV. In order to do that, all I need to do is simply take the purchase order and drag and drop the file. It doesn't get much easier than that, to be honest with you. And when the user drags and drops the file, it'll be stored in a central archive and it will have um, be tagged with information that links it to the relevant transaction. Let me just go ahead and drop that. And let that file refresh. Looks like we're having a little trouble with our internet connection. Um, so give it one second. So, and then another way of being able to attach files, I'm not sure what's going on there, but just to show, we've also got the ability where if you wanted to, you can actually browse out to a network folder and archive information that way as a way to get supporting information stored to the relevant record within NAV. Now, as I go between different transactions, it will actually populate and show the supporting files that have been linked to specific areas within the system. So that kind of goes to talk about the ease of use of being able to take supporting information, no matter what the file type, drag and drop it and have it attached to the relevant record within NAV. But that's only half of it. What we also want to do is make sure that the information is available not only on the sales order, but throughout the transaction's life cycle. So if you have a sales order, next step in the process is, of course, we're actually going to go ahead and post this. And I'm going to go ahead and ship an invoice or ship and invoice this particular order. Now, as you know, within NAV, what that's going to do is it's actually going to delete the sales order from the system and put it in an archive status and move everything forward to a posted sales invoice. So let's go to our posted sales invoices. And this is really where the power of Zetadocs can come into play is because no longer users having to go and search for information, they can actually go to a particular invoice and see all supporting files related to a specific transaction. Uh, so let me actually go, and as you can see here, as I'm going between our different invoices, the documents over on the right hand side are updating based on the record I'm viewing. So if Selengorian calls up with a question, maybe regarding, relating to the quantity that was ordered or the dollar amount, a person in the customer service um, staff or in the finance team can access all that information just by pulling up the posted purchase invoice within NAD. They don't have to go and search on network file folders to find the PO or in file cabinets. Everything is visible on screen. Also, in addition to that, is the fact that since it's available electronically, they have access to it no matter how they're connecting. You know, as long as they've got the appropriate rates, they'll be able to view this information, whether they're working from home or in the office. They'll even be able to access it on mobile devices, such as an iPad or iPhone. Now, those address kind of the ease of use elements, you know, making sure that users have anywhere access and that they can quickly find the supporting information that they need. And that's great for users that have access to NAV. But what about those users that don't have access to NAV? Or if you have questions about the file structure, ensuring that these, um, the information that we're archiving is being stored in a structured format. Well, to show that, what I wanted to do is actually go over to our SharePoint site. 
So you can see how Zetadocs actually archives the information to SharePoint. As you can see here, we're not just throwing them into random folders. We are putting the stored information into subfolders. In our case, the way we have our system set up is we're putting all sales documents together, all purchase documents are in one folder. You know, we've got production orders, journal entries. If we wanted to be attaching information against employee cards, that's something where we could have an employee folder. And the reason that's so important is we can then create rights based on those particular folders as to who has access. If I drill into our sales order, for example, you can see we've got further subfolders that put all of the information for particular customers into their own folder. So when a user drags and drops the file, all of that information is actually going to be stored in a very structured way without the user have to doing any additional work. So that's kind of a very high level overview of Zetadocs capture. Now we've focused on the browsing to network folders and the drag and drop, but I should mention that Zetadocs does have the ability to store files in a variety of ways. We can use auto link document queues to scan files and have them automatically attached based on barcodes or file names. We have manual document queues. So there are several different options just depending on your requirements. And that's really where just reach out to your Novia rep and we can set up a call to discuss your specific requirements. And then either Sandra or myself as the document management expert can put together um, what we recommend is the best option. Now, capturing documents is only half of the picture though, because we're also going to be communicating with our customers and vendors. So we wanna be sure that we're also streamlining the sending of things such as um, remittances or, hold on one second, that helps if I type correctly. Um, so the sending of sales invoices, um, the sending of order confirmations, purchase orders, uh, remittance notifications. For today's demonstration, we're going to highlight how you can send out statements, or in this case, issued reminders. Now, oftentimes in talking with customers, one of the challenges they face is that when they send out their statements or the reminder letters, customers immediately call back asking for supporting documentation. Well, why not provide all of that information to our customers with the initial correspondence? Zetadocs delivery allows users to go in and batch deliver all of their, in this case, issued reminders. So I'm gonna go ahead and just send all of them. And we're gonna deliver these based on the customer's preferred means of delivery. Now, what I mean by that is we're gonna go out to the customer card and look at rules that can be configured as to how that customer wants to receive their, in this case, reminders. Now, Zetadocs does allow you to set up different rules based on report type. So you can send invoices to one individual and reminders to another individual. And it actually will support up to five recipients um, as part of the rules. Now, if I wanna monitor this, if I've got a lot of free time on my hands, I can actually go into the Zetadocs outbox to monitor the progress of this batch. So if I open this up, you can see all of the issued reminders that we're sending out, and I can refresh this and see them being delivered to customers. Now, the nice thing about this outbox is if any of these reminders fail, there'll be a notification within this delivery outbox. If I need to look at like an activity log to try and find a reminder or an invoice that I sent out previously, we do have an activity log option as well. But so you can see what the reminders look like. I'd actually sent some out earlier so that you can see an example of a reminder and we'll see some of the new ones coming in as I'm uh, talking about this. But the reminder letter that we send out, we've got a personalized email in this case, we've got a reminder letter that's going out and it's a reminder level one. So 
So this customer is only slightly past due. So the terminology that we're using or the verbiage that we're using in the covering email is, you know, just a delicate reminder saying, hey, can you please look into these invoices and remit payment? But for those reminders or invoices that are further past due and have hit a reminder level two, here you can see we applied a different template where the verbiage is much stronger, clearly indicating in bold red letters that this is, um, these invoices are extremely past due. The advantage with Zetadocs that we're bringing is the fact that not only are we attaching the reminder letter itself to the email, but we're also attaching copies of the overdue invoices automatically. So here, if you see, I click on the reminder, we've overlaid stationary, once again, clearly indicating that these invoices are past due, but then we've also attached copies of the relevant invoices and put a watermark clearly indicating that these are copies of the original invoices that were sent. Now, for those of you that aren't sending out reminders or statements, we also have a lot of customers that use this to attach proof of delivery documentation to invoices when those are sent out. There are a lot of options. What you really wanna look at is, are there ever times when you want to dynamically attach supporting information to your outbound reports such as invoices, statements, those are probably the most common that Sandra and I see. Now, hopefully during today's demonstration, we were able to highlight that, you know, Zetadocs is a solution that is integrated with NAV. It's very easy for users to use. It's probably the processes that they're currently going through, but we're actually going to provide a way for them to store the information they need to answer customer and vendor questions in a structured manner that's easily accessible, whether they're in the office or on the road. And with that, I'm gonna turn things over to Sandra. That's great, thanks so much, Miss. Um, I hope that the demo provided a, a great way for you to see how it works in action. So let's go back to um, the, uh, the rest of our presentation. And what I put up here on the screen are uh, some tips, tips for a successful implementation because after uh, the decision on May is made on which system to purchase, then you're also going to want to look at the implementation of that system. And one of the things uh, that we you know, would like to remind you is to define the goals for your document management system. When people start planning to implement, many haven't thought through really, you know, what's the most important thing to accomplish. So it's a good idea to take the time to define a few basics, including which departments the system is primarily intended for, the document types your company handles, and the specific business processes you're aiming to improve. Also, you don't want to forget about the user experience. Make sure to ask yourself, how well would this system work for our average user? Having the best functionality isn't worth much if half of the people on your team can't figure out how to use it. And you definitely want to make the most of your investment. So keep in mind that document management is a cross-platform application so that everyone should be able to use it. From accountants to salespeople to people in the warehouse. Some of the most common oversights come from making a decision based on current requirements rather than thinking about your organization's long-term needs. A lot could change in your company and your document management system should be robust and flexible enough to keep up with that evolution. Perhaps right now your company has more of a need uh, for an efficient way to store and retrieve documents. That's great. Later on, you might also need to electronically send batches of invoices only to discover that the software you chose doesn't have what you need to set up batch delivery. So, um, you know, make sure to determine overall functionality today, three years from now, and five years from now. 
We always recommend testing a document management solution within your test database before going live. Testing can be glossed over, but it's a great way to avoid surprises during the go live. And that's something that you really want to avoid because um, sometimes surprises could cause business disruptions at a client or even a system wide level. And lastly, overlooking the total cost of ownership is a common, um, something that is common to a variety of IT projects. Look into the future and figure out what you'll spend on your current system compared to the time and cost savings of an electronic system. As with any investment, taking the long view is really essential to making the right choice. What we're showing here on the screen is um, uh, we're letting you know that Datadocs for NAV is compatible with many different versions of NAV, 2009 uh, RTC, roll tailored, uh, all the way up to the current version of 2018. So when you're looking at systems, you wanna make sure that they are compatible with the version that you are currently using. And as well, you wanna make sure that they're compatible with the tablet client, the web client, and the Windows client. And then we've also listed here on the archive side, um, with Datadoc, you can archive using SharePoint online, as Mitch showed you, SharePoint on-premise, and also in network folders. Practically every company incurs employee expenses. If you have people in your organization who travel regularly, a wallet stuffed with receipts can be a common sight. What's more, mobile employees are highly dependent on their smartphones to allow them to be productive while they're out of the office. Datadocs expenses enables users to submit an expense report when incurring an expense using their smartphone rather than leaving everything to the end of the month, which becomes a chore, which can sometimes be pushed off even longer. Putting expenses on screen is a better way of managing expenses. It helps eliminate paper and streamlines time-consuming expense report processing. So to show you how it works, Datadocs Expenses is simple to use and instantly accessible via our mobile app or on the web. When your team incurs an expense, they can simply, they can simply snap a photo of their receipt and enter their expense information on their smartphone, which they can then quickly upload to the expenses site. Expense types match NAB GL codes and corporate policies are enforced by allowing you to set up soft and hard spending thresholds. If an expense exceeds a threshold, the user will receive a warning which carries through to the approvers. Greater control saves time for approvers and the finance team and helps reduce expenditures. Datadoc supports expense claims, mileage claims, and expenses incurred by various payment methods, including uh, company credit cards. So when you're ready to submit an expense report, the entered expenses can be easily attached to the created report and then submitted for approval. This saves time and nothing gets forgotten when it comes time to submit your expense report. And also using the mobile phone app, users can track the approval status of their report at any time. Once those reports are submitted, approvers are notified automatically to approve the expense claim. And they can do so from a phone, tablet, or their PC. They will receive an email notification of an expense task and click on the link, which takes them to their dashboard on the Zetadocs expenses site. And that's the picture that you see right up here on the screen. From there, they can approve and process the expense. Using web services, the expense information is passed directly over to NAV, 
which can be set up to automatically create a purchase invoice, for example. It can also tie back to journal entries or jobs. It's set up based on your preference. So it's a very simple process. It's approved. And uh, in our example here, a purchase invoice is automatically created. And when that purchase invoice is created, all that information automatically populates. So there's no need to rekey. All expenses are coded using NAV business data and the expense types that users select being mapped directly to NAV general ledger code. With the system, you can reconcile credit card statements and split out reimbursable and non-reimbursable expenses as well. So what to do next? If you'd like to learn more about how ZetaDocs would fit your specific requirements, um, always feel free to reach out to your Anovia rep to schedule a call or even a personalized demo with us. We are offering a 25% discount on the purchase of ZetaDoc solutions through May 31st. And uh, we also put up here our URL for our ROI calculator. So if you want to just plug in some numbers of what you're currently spending and um, you know what, what you want to spend, you'll see the savings using the calculator on our website. So do you think paper has had its day? It's time consuming and costly, can cause issues with providing services to your vendors and customers, and can have a negative impact on virtually every business process. There is a better way, and I hope that this presentation has given everyone ideas for areas in which a document management solution can streamline the processes within your organization. If you have any specific requirements that you would like to discuss, feel free to contact your Anovia account manager, and you can also go on our ZetaDocs website we have short product videos on the website. We also have a YouTube channel with short videos. Um, in addition to our website, we list a calendar of upcoming webinars, as well as links to past webinars. So um, right at this point, we're gonna go ahead and open this up to a few poll questions. Okay, everyone. Um, so I have a few poll questions I'd like to ask, um, and these could be pertaining to you personally or your organization um, that you work for. So I'm going to go ahead and launch those, and we'll take a few moments to um, get the results. So when you think about it, how much time does your staff spend each week looking for supporting information and recreating documents? Half an hour, hour, hour and a half, two hours or more. Um, it, it's kind of fun to look and see how much time is actually spent. Okay, looks like we have um, both half hour and an hour on that question. Okay. Yep. 
And on average, how many sales and purchasing documents do you store per transaction? In this instance, what we find is oftentimes people we sign are storing information such as packing slips, vendor invoices on the purchasing side, on the sales side. Oftentimes it may be, you know, signed order confirmations, proof of delivery documents, shipment, um, pick tickets is another one that we see used quite a bit. And this one they said uh, five on average. And I think that's what we typically see is the average as well as about five documents. And then in which areas would you use document management the most? And they said sales and purchasing. Okay, that's all of the poll questions that we have. We do have um, another question to ask. Are the watermarks on the document an update to the design of the document? The watermarks are actually, we can add a stationary file which gets overlaid on top of the NAV report. So when you're creating your templates, you would just add a stationary file and that, as I mentioned, is a file that's just kind of like a watermark that gets overlaid on top of the invoice and that's how you could see the copy or the final demand. And that's something that you can easily customize by going in and making adjustments. We have several accounts where they'll go in and adjust their templates uh, several times. Okay, uh, one poll question that um, we didn't actually go over, and my fault, I'm sorry. The first one, how do you currently store paper documents? And the choice uh, was network folders. They said um, all participants chose network folders. Um, that's good to know because uh, we're finding that as we talk to customers, what used to be the majority are using paper-based, it, it's now, you know, leaning more towards 50-50 of those using paper-based and those using network folders. Okay, good. Well, if anyone else has any further questions, uh, please go ahead and type them into the questions box. Sandra, Mitch, it doesn't look like there's any other questions. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and then put up on the screen our contact information. Pull this back over here. Um, and up here you can see I've got our website address as well as my email address and phone number. We'll leave it up there just for a second if you'd like to write that down. And uh, feel free to reach out at any time with any questions. And then I'll go ahead and um, move over to our last slide, which will show you our different uh, social media addresses. Um, the being our Twitter address, LinkedIn, there's the YouTube, our blog, where we keep all of our feature updates um, posted on the blog, and then as well as the uh, blog feed. So we're ready to wrap this up, and would like to thank you again for attending our, our webinar this afternoon. We appreciate the opportunity and, and hope uh, that we were able to provide valuable information um, for what you're looking for. Uh, thanks again, Angie. Thank you, Angie, and I guess we'll pass it back to you to wrap things up. All right, thank you both, Sandra and Mitch. 
and thank you everyone for attending. Um, I just wanted to let you know that we do have a lot of events on our website, so check out our events page. We're always updating those um, with new events. We have a couple of webinars next week that a couple of um, Anovia employees will be presenting. We have Joseph Gress, who will be presenting on NAV Upgrades 101 on the 21st. And we have John Grant, who will be presenting on NAV reordering policies. It's an overview of that. So if you're interested in attending either of those webinars, um, we encourage you to register for those. And then we have our customer conference that will be held on April 18th and 19th at the Chula Vista Resort and Conference Center in the Wisconsin Dells. And um, actually, Equisys will be there, so you can meet them. And we will have a lot of other ISVs that will be attending, so we'd love to have you there. It's a free event to attend, so visit our website and register for our conference. And again, like I said earlier, this has been recorded and it will be available on our website later this week for you to review again or if you'd like to share it with anyone, you're more than welcome to. And thank you again everyone for attending. Have a wonderful day and we hope to see you next time on one of our events. Thank you.